Uh, welcome back. Let's do an example on uh, calculating uh, confidence um, uh, intervals. So let's say that um, that uh, we are uh, looking at a manufacturer uh, who is manufacturing bags of cherry tomatoes uh, and uh, each bag of tomatoes is labeled 227 gram. So what is that 227 uh, that is labeled on this uh, bag? Well, uh, this is the this is this is what the uh, claimed uh, mean weight of the bags is. So 227 grams is the is the claimed uh, is the claimed mean weight of uh, the bags of tomatoes. Let's say the quality control manager picks a sample of four packs and finds that sample mean weight X bar is uh, 222 grams and the measurement equipment produces a standard deviation sigma equal to 5 grams. We want to find uh, we want to find uh, the 95% confidence interval and the 99% uh, confidence uh, uh, interval. All right, so let's first find the 95% uh, uh, confidence interval. So to find the 95% confidence interval, we first need to find the 95% margin margin of error and the 95 percent margin of error so remember the margin of error is the formula for the uh, margin of error is the uh, following uh, the formula for the margin of error is is m equal to z star times sigma over root of n and so for 95 percent margin of error we know that z star is uh, 1.96 and sig sigma here is 5 and the sample size because we are picking a sample of four packs so sample size is four so you take root of four and if we calculate that we get 4.9 so that is the 95 percent margin of error uh, so so what is then the 95 percent uh, confidence uh, the 90 so so remember the confidence interval is um, the confidence interval uh, corresponding to this margin of error is given by the sample mean plus or minus the margin of error right so so the 95 percent uh, confidence interval is equal to is equal to well um, let me just say colon it is going to be the sample mean plus or minus the margin of error and the sample mean remember was two, two, 222 grams so this would be 222 plus or minus the margin of error we obtained 4.9 and so the confidence interval then 222 plus 4.9 and okay 222 minus 4.9 so that's going to be so 222 minus 4.9 to 222 plus 4.9 and and this is going to be the 
uh, range from 217.10 to 226.90. So this is our 95% uh, confidence interval. So notice that if the claim that the mean of the weight of the bags is 227, then our 95% confidence interval doesn't contain the population mean in this case. So, so, so maybe this uh, interval didn't, but if we pick uh, another sample and compute another sample mean and cal calculate the 95% confidence interval, then that, that might uh, contain the uh, contain the actual uh, um, mean weight. So again, uh, one confidence interval may not contain the actual uh, actual uh, population mean, but if we do this, if we compute the confidence interval for many, many samples, then 95% of the time, the confidence intervals will contain the actual mean. Okay, so let's now co compute the 99% confidence interval. So the 99% uh, margin of error would be, okay, Z star sigma over root of n. And for us, um, Z star, so 90, for 99% confidence interval, Z star is uh, 2.576 and you multiply that with sigma is 5 root of 4 4 is the sample size and that is equal to uh, 6.44 so the 99% uh, confidence interval, well, it is given by sample mean plus or minus uh, the margin of error. Uh, the sample mean was, again, 222 grams plus or minus 6.44. And so the range of values we get would be uh, 222 minus 6.44 comma 222 plus 6.44 and so the confidence interval that we are getting then is well 222 minus 6.44 is 215.44 Five, six, and then 222 plus 6.44 is 228.44. So that's the 99% so uh, confidence interval. It's the range of values from 215.56 to 228.44. Notice that if uh, 227 is, is the correct actual mean weight, and then the 99% confidence interval that we obtained uh, contains that. Now, um, notice one thing. Uh, notice that if you compare the, so this was the 95% confidence interval, right? This was the 95% confidence interval, and this one right here is the 99% confidence interval. And notice that. The 99% confidence interval is wider than the 95% confidence interval, and that sh that should be expected because uh, we are. If you increase the confidence level, uh, you know, you, you know, you need uh, you, you need a wider range of uh, values. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop the video here with this example. And I will see you in the next video.